That's some great advice and advice that we frequently take ourselves. Everybody, I'm Natasha and I'm Bill with nursing our travel bug in our recent travels we had the opportunity to meet up with different RV YouTube channels we asked all of them the same frequently asked RV related questions this is the last in our series now what is the question of the week well today's question is what advice do you have for anyone thinking about RVing or new to RVing? Hi, I'm Ricky. And I'm Barbara. And together we're RV underway. My advice would be, it's never too late. If you have um, your health, it's never too late to RV. Do it. Just get out there and do it. You will learn it as you go, uh, but you can't go unless you start. That's our advice. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Harold Strange with One Strange Adventure. And I'm Cindy take your time do do your research take your time and just don't get into a rush because if you get into a rush that's when people make mistakes and you forget your checklist when you have something like an rv mistakes can be costly so just take your time and and do your research hello everyone my name is charlie grace i'm with forever best friend well i think you have to think about how you live because this is really important um for people who live in big spaces and they need to have a lot of space, they do need to think about maybe a fifth wheel of sorts or maybe a very large class A. But the bottom line is you're never gonna find one that fits absolutely everything. So there's gonna be some give and take. So for me, uh, when we travel, we do a lot of electronic editing and videos and cameras. So for us, outlets are really important in charging. So uh, we need to make sure that we have a lot of that. And we've, we've had some give and takes on space because of that. We are RV Kids TV, Aaron and Rocky. I mean, people are like, oh my gosh, you guys are in such close quarters and stuff like that. But I mean, a lot of times it's a good thing because it's, I don't know, we've experienced a lot of stuff already as a family, but then you've got all this, you can get out and go take your break and go breathe. You can, and then come back and, and, and feel better. That's what I would. Yeah, because if you look at the traditional stick and, sticks and bricks, if you look at your major rooms in your house that you're staying, that you spend time in, it's the bedroom, maybe your kitchen or your living room, and the bathroom, and an RV has all those. So, all the extra, all the other ones are just extra places to have to clean up. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like the other night, we watched Shooting Stars as a family, and like, yeah, it was neat. And the kids were, it's something that we haven't really done, and it just, it's really, it's a small thing, but it's, it's really cool. I'm Debbie from Blue Wave Odyssey. And I'm Bob with Blue Wave Odyssey. Take your time and have fun. Take your time. Don't rush anything. And uh, your, your and your trailer won't roll off the blocks. <laughs> and we watched a lot of YouTube videos just and we watched everyone else's do it yourself and how to prepare for a trip and that really helped us get prepared before we even bought an RV. And be you. Well hi, I'm Keith. I'm Indiana. And we are traveling down the banisters. Get out there and do it. You know, you know tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you can say tomorrow all you want. But if you just get out there and you don't have to go buy an RV today, go get a tent, go, you know, sleep in the back of your truck, go out and camp, go and start doing it, enjoy it. And if you think that this is the lifestyle that you want to do, it's better that you do it that way anyways before you go and buy your camper. Make sure you like it. I know you're going to fall in love with it because it's not the, the RVing or the camping that's the fun. Look at around us. Look at around, everybody. It's the community. And these are friendships that you will have for a lifetime. So just start. Go out. Do it tomorrow. Don't wait till you retire. Do it now. Hello and welcome to Proceeding Onward in America. POA. I'm Fabian. And I'm Becky. My piece of advice would definitely uh, be doing your homework on your RV and your truck. And try not to max. If you got a truck that can only tow 7,000, don't get an RV that weighs 7,000. So try to understand that whole payload because payload is this and towing capacity is that you, you really need to do your homework on all of that that's my only thing because seeing these weird i've seen trucks that look smaller than our mocha and they were like little small little minivans towing bigger rvs than ours on the road my advice would be 
um, take it slow. When we first starting it uh, started, it was very exciting, and we just went through states through states. We would stay in like a night or two, and then go on, and we never really ex experienced. Yeah. And um, it's just you have so much time, so just slow down a little bit. And if you get a work camping job, try to do one central to different states, and you can just go explore that area for three to four months, and then proceed onward. Well, I'm Teresa. I'm Mike. And, and we're meant, meant to be, to be our man. Man. That's our closing line. You're never too old. Well, if it's your dream to RV, you're never too old. And you're never too late. Just get out there and do it. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Hi, I'm Diana. And I'm Brad. And we are It's About Time Now. Don't wait. Yeah, that's a good one. Make it happen. Yeah. You, you're, you're, you're never going to regret getting out there and seeing this wonderful country. Uh, and there's so much of the country that's still not developed. Right. Uh, Montana and South Dakota and, and those areas. It was, it was just amazing to see signs that said, next town, 80 miles. Yeah, or further. Or further. So, yeah, I would say just go out and do it. If you're an RV newbie, follow others, learn from their mistakes. Hi, Bill. I'm Nancy. And we are the Thin Blue Lake. Get a substantial emergency fund. I agree. I cannot stress that enough. If you have a substantial emergency fund, if you have an emergency, it's no longer an emergency. Correct. And if you don't, like us, we had a $10,000 fix. If you don't have that, your trip, your RVN is over. And your stress levels are gonna go through the roof. You just have to, you have to be prepared. Hi, I'm Allison, and this is Andrew, and we're from our national adventure. Go slower. And yeah, take your time. Don't be afraid to get out there and do it. And also, yeah, go slower, savor where you are. Even though you're super excited right now, you wanna see everything, take your time and savor it, and you're gonna to get to the next you're spot, and the next spot, that. and the next spot, and you'll get there. So don't just keep thinking, oh my gosh, I've gotta go, I've gotta go. Enjoy where you are. Be patient with your partner on moving days because when you're trying to back that RV in, just take a deep breath. Yeah, be patient, it's a good one. Be patient, just do it, and uh, you'll figure it out. We are getting out RV adventures with the Meguiars. I'm Scott. I'm Sophie. I'm Carrie. I'm Chloe. Don't let the toilet explode in your face. Yeah. Don't talk to somebody while you're doing the black tank flush. Focus. Or don't let the shower leak. Yeah. Oh yeah. Check your gray tank levels before you get in the shower. Yeah. When you're the last one taking a shower, yeah. No. But I, honestly, I think I'm such a um, I play things safe in life. I'm not a risk taker. But I would say just do it. It's like figure out your finances and what you want to accomplish through RV. Is it full time living? Is it part time? Just getting out whenever you can and figure out how to take that next step and make that happen. Because I think even if you're not someone like like myself who will take a risk or really looks for adventure in life. It's such a rewarding thing, especially if you have a family that you can go off and share those memories with. Hi, I'm Crystal with Crystal's Pets. And I'm Jason with Imagine Your Odyssey. Just go out and do it. Don't be scared. Enjoy it. Get out there and see the world. Yep. Yeah, I would say, you know, investigate what you want, know what your needs are, and then base that off of what you want to get, and then there, just don't go the first time and don't stop. Don't be one of those ones that buys one and then goes out once a year. Just go out and have fun. Do your thing. So I am William from the Camper Life YouTube channel. Uh, my piece of advice is when you watch the videos, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. A lot, of, a lot of people do show the bad stuff. Some people don't. There is going to be ups and downs, but if it's something you think you want to try, go for it because you can always go back. But, you know, if you pass up an opportunity to try once, you may really miss out on something good. Hi, I'm Johnny with Johnny's Journey. I'm Kelly with Vanderella, and this is Maddie. Don't put it off till tomorrow. Figure out a way to do it today. There'll always be a way to make money, and there'll always be bills to pay, so don't be tied down to what you think is artificially tethering you. And watch lots and lots and lots and lots of videos. On and, Johnny's journey. <laughs> and, there you go. And take some trips out before you finalize everything because you never know what you're going to want to change, you know, once you're out. Yes. Like, oh, I wish I would have. 
Yeah, if you're building from scratch like we did, take some maiden voyages and see what you would adjust. Yep. And I guess if you're investing in a new rig or a previously, you know, used rig, see, you know, what adjustments you might need to make it your own. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Mark. I'm Carrie with the Art of Arvine. Do it. Yeah, just do it's, it. There's just, not going to be a good time. There's right. not going to be enough money. It's mm -hmm. kind of like having kids. Yeah, you're never going to be ready and you're never going to have enough money. But, you know, stay within your means and get a camper or whatever you want and then mm -hmm. just go out and see if you like it and yeah. try it. And you may hate it, but... Um, just jump in. Yeah, yeah. Just jump, just in. jump in. So you got a 1,500 truck, so what? Get, <laughs> get something that's going to pull and just do it. So yeah, so just do it. I am New Horizons, and this is my husband. He's Germs. Germ, also known as Indiana Boy on my channel. Don't listen to the salesman <laughs> talk to somebody's minute before. Yeah. Make sure you get the RV that your truck can pull, and one's big enough for you and your family. Because a lot of times the salesman, you go in there and they want to sell you this and tell you it's perfect. You hook it to your truck and your truck goes, or I don't pull yeah. it. Make sure you get all your information and everything. Ask or talk to other <laughs> RVers. Definitely talk to other yeah. RVers. I'm Shelly. And I'm Michael. And we have Talon. And we are our Epic RV Adventure. I would just say, just know that like, what you anticipate or expect is not necessarily what it's going to be. You know, um, if, if you go out on the weekends or whatever, that is not full-time living. Once you full-time, then you recognize that there are things that, you know, you didn't notice before when you were just doing it for the weekend. So be prepared. And go slow. Now there is some great advice. A lot of themes in there, very similar. A lot of people said some of the same stuff. My advice would be to set a fun budget. Now, when you get into the RV lifestyle, it's really easy to spend like you're on vacation and it doesn't take too long before your pocketbook is taking a big hit. There's a lot of things to do, a lot of things to see, a lot of places to eat, but you gotta rein it in and stick to your budget so that you can continue living this lifestyle for a long, long time. My solid piece of advice is when you're backing things in to tight spaces or just when you're pulling in in general, only trust your travel partner if you have one. That stranger backing you in, he's not really invested in protecting your RV the same way your loved ones and family members are going to be. So please, only trust yourselves. That's some great advice and advice that we frequently take ourselves. Do you have advice for any RV newbies? Leave it down in the comments below. We want to know so we can share it out. We thank you so much for watching. Before you go, please make sure you like this video. If you really, really, really liked it, we hope you subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. And be sure to check out all of these fantastic RV YouTube channels. We will leave a link to them in the description. All right, until we see you again, fair, fair winds, winds and following seas. And until the next strange adventure. Keep making your own. Thank you for being our forever best friend. This is RV Kids TV. If you're traveling, stay safe. If you're not traveling, stay safe. And most importantly, God bless. See you down the road. Goodbye, YouTube. <laughs> As always, we would like to thank you for traveling Another down the banisters, bench. and we'll see you next time. Well, thank you for watching, and keep on proceeding onward in your adventures. Bye-bye. If it's your dream to RV, you're never too old, and you're never too late. Um, it's about time now, because tomorrow is not, not guaranteed. guaranteed. Stay blue, everybody. That's right. <laughs> Stay blue and stay between the lines. Thanks for adventuring and see Coming you next, up next time. time on our national adventure. So we look forward to seeing you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. As always, have fun, enjoy your RV, and God bless. Like, share, and subscribe. We're always here. Check out Nurse and Our Travel Bug. Great channel. We've really enjoyed having y'all at the meetup. Thank you for coming. All right. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And remember to ring the bell. Right. Bad day, it's Kevin. It's better than a good day at work. <laughs> Your next dream, your next adventure is just over the horizon. So get out, enjoy life, and explore it. We'll see you at the next adventure.
Well, I'm Bill. And I'm Natasha. And we are Nursing Our Travel Bug. Encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy. She's what makes me happy. Ooh. I'm your huckleberry. Ooh. Time to go. What's up?